to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie. Today, I am sharing a family of five shopping haul. So I shopped in Tesco's today, and this is everything that I managed to get. Obviously, we're in lockdown, so there's a couple of things I couldn't get, namely Frosties and flour. But everything else, um, pretty much, is gonna feed us the rest of the week and I will show you our meal plan as well so you can see exactly how we lay it all out but I thought I would go through what a family of five will eat in one week. So I've laid everything out. We have a really small counter so it was a bit of a cram to get it all in but I will go through everything uh, meal by meal first of all. So we decided that we would have burgers one evening so I've got burgers and I bought some baps. We also, William is dairy free, so I had to get some free from baps for him. And I find that Tesco's along with Sainsbury's do really good free from things. So um, baps for him, baps for us, and burgers will be one night. We are gonna make a lasagna. I already had lasagna sheets, so I just needed some mints and like onions and things to go in with that. Uh, meatballs and spaghetti was requested by Lil, so I got some meatballs and I did need to get some spaghetti and spaghetti, the uh, pasta has gone back to normal now. There's tons of pasta in the shops. We love a roast on a Sunday, so I got a large chicken there. And then we have also got some frozen things that we're gonna have as well. So we love these quarter pounders, uh, bird's eye quarter pounders. They're really great. They've got like almost like a rice, popping rice topping to them. Really delicious. And then we're having pizza tonight actually. So what have we got? That's uh, burgers, lasagna, meatballs, roast chicken, burgers and chips, pizza is a sixth meal, and our seventh meal, had to go and check the plan there, but it's sausages. We have something called sausage surprise, which is basically sausages in a passatery, baked beany sauce with mashed potato. So they are our meals for the week. So everything else is just sort of accessories for the rest of the week with lunches as well. I'll talk you through our lunches. If we look at the plan, you can get one of these um, easily off Amazon or in supermarkets you find them, but I just find it really helpful to plan everything out. So we've got tuna wraps. We already had tuna, but I did need some more wraps. So I've bought some wraps there. Cheese toasties. So we got two blocks of cheese. We do love our cheese in this house. Sausage sandwiches. We already had some sausages, so I didn't need to buy an extra lot for that as well. But we did need bread. So two loaves of bread will get us through with toast and any sandwiches that we have through the week. Fish finger sandwiches. So I got two packs of fish fingers there. Chicken nugget wraps. So we did already have some wraps. So these wraps just add to the amount we already have. But I did buy these chicken dippers, which are soya and milk free. So um, we need to make sure that we check packaging because of William and these chicken nugget wraps are the best if you don't have those add them to your list chicken nugget wraps are delicious tuna wraps and cheese toasties so we're just you know repeating lunches so what else did I buy I bought some chocolate fudge brownie mix it's dairy free so we can add our own um, dairy free spread an egg and I don't know if it needs milk but we use oat milk so that's a treat for making this week I bought some barbecue seasoning that'll be to add to everything we love that um, bought some peppers now ordinarily I buy everything uh, without plastic but we are living in crazy times right now and just in and out of the shop is the name of the game so I've got some peppers there I got apples for snacks for the kids oranges onions to add to my spaghetti bolognese and the lasagna custard creams they do love custard creams mini rolls so these little things for the snack table if I just quickly remind you of our snack table, which is completely bare right now, but we I add everything to our snack table and then they can help themselves throughout the day. Lettuce that will go in any tuna wraps or the chicken nugget wraps. We buy Vitalite as our dairy-free spread. We really like that one. We've got sweet corn for tuna wraps and baked beans. We bulk out 
our lasagna, our spaghetti bolognese with baked beans. It just means you need less meat and um, it just if spreads further with a family of five is necessary. Crisps to add to the snack table as well. So we've got hula hoops, Monster Munch. Also got some cheese and onion crisps there. And for my husband, we got some McCoys and then William is dairy free. So he has the plain hula hoops. I also, with the warmer weather, I treated us some ice creams. We've not tried these ones before. So these are gooey chocolate fudge extremes. We love the salted caramel ones. So I thought we'd have a little experiment with a different flavor. And then obviously William can't have chocolate. So I went for some round trees push-ups, which are basically like calippos. What else have we got here? We've got, I do the curly girl method, as you know, or if you don't know and you have curly hair, then check out my curly girl video. But this is the one that I use, the conditioner that I wash my hair with. Instead of shampoo, I use conditioner. And then we've run out of shower gel. So I got this Radox one for my husband, which I had to, had to have a sniff of because I was like, I'm the one who has to smell you. I want it to smell good. And then for myself, I got this juicy mango one, which smells delicious. And we also needed some new toothpaste. And this one says white and teeth in 10 days. So we shall see. Carrots for our roast dinner. I also... Lots of dairy free things here. These, I don't know if they're new, but I have never seen them before. But these are vegan and free from, well, it says a creamy chocolate bar. So he's going to go crazy when he sees these, but there's no, no mo or yeah, I think it's no mo, no mo, but yeah, Tesco's are selling those. Also for the snack table, they're allowed sweets. Um, so Mao Am's nothing much to say about those. Because they didn't have Frosties, I was like, what am I gonna have? So I treated myself to some Belvita crunchy choc chip bar things. More things for the snack table, as you can tell. Three kids means lots of snacks throughout the day. So I got some jam tarts. I also got some Kit Kats, two lots of those because they get through them quickly. We do try and be healthy. So uh, I also got some strawberries. Then pizza tonight is... Uh, for dinner and I'll just show you the flavors. So we really like the sweet chili chicken pizza. So there's one each for me and my husband and then we've got double pepperoni for the girls. William does not like pizza, even though Tesco's do do a great dairy free one. It's, um, oh, it's Kirsty's. The brand is Kirsty's and it's dairy free, soya free pizza and it's great, but he just doesn't like pizza. So he'll be having chicken nuggets. We needed some dishwasher salt granules some passata for the lasagna and for the spaghetti bolognese we're really enjoying garlic and herb sauce right now um normally we get it from asda and it's a bigger bottle but this is the only one they had and it's quite small but that'll have to do i treated myself to this as a reward for braving the supermarket some squash we get through quite a bit of squash we've already got a black currant um so that's the second black currant and then two orange and mango i much prefer orange and mango just to plain orange and then we don't have milk because of william we use oat milk as a whole family so i got three alpro oats i think that is everything so that is, well, today is Thursday and that takes us through till next Wednesday. So that's a whole seven days worth of food that will last us for breakfasts, for lunches, snacks and dinner. And it came to £126. That was from Tesco. So um, we are buying more food at the moment because of lockdown. Everyone is home all of the time. So we don't normally spend as much as £126 for a week. All of these snacks and things just wouldn't be here ordinarily because the children just wouldn't be here. But £126 for a family of five for a whole week, I don't think that's bad at all. I'd love to know how that compares to what you buy. Um, whether those have given you any meal ideas. Certainly chicken nugget wraps for the win. Um, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'd love to know if you would like to see more of these to see how our meals vary because we do try and change them week on week. If you'd like to see more, then do let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. It always makes my day when I see that notification that somebody has subscribed. Don't forget to press the bell so you get notified of new videos and I will be back next week with another upload. Bye!